I want to see how I organize shorter amounts of cordage between a couple inches to a foot to a foot and a half. Well, watch the rest of this video. You'll find out something you can do, make, adapt to for your own needs. And my reasonings and background on what, how I came up with this or why I even came up with this in the first place. Now, as everyone's aware, cordage is very useful. And if you have longer pieces of cordage, let's say more than 5 feet, 10 feet, 20 feet, all the way up to whatever feet, there's other ways of doing it. So you can group, fold it in half kind of deal, and half and half and half again, and bunch it together and kind of make something like this and just tie an arbor knot, use a ranger band or something like that to keep it together. You can also daisy chain it or zipper chain in it, like something similar to this. This is a zipper chain in it. You can also put it on a spool. So let's pretend this is a spool. You can wrap it around the spool and just unwind it out or use one of those spool type of tools or whatever that are flat and you can put your cordage around it like your 50 foot, 25 foot of paracord or something like that and there's other ways of doing it from the figure eight and a bunch of other ways for organizing longer pieces of cordage but what do you do when you have shorter amounts of cordage you know miscellaneous cordage that you have from previous pro cordage projects that you would be making from Let's say a bracelet like this paracord bracelet right here, for example. What do you do with that excess piece of cordage? And let's say it's still long enough to be useful. So let's say it's a couple inches where it's still useful, could be still be useful. And you want to keep it around for tying off something else. Now, when I was coming to what I'm gonna show you in a bit here. <clears throat> I was thinking, oh, you could daisy chain it together, you know, a couple of upper knots there and stick it together and daisy chain it together. Yeah, you could do that and put it on a spool, but what happens if you wanna get something in between or in the middle of that line? Now you're gonna undo it. And yeah, you could do it. That's possible. Maybe you have it in a bay like this, full of miscellaneous cordage, whatever type of cordage. You could see porn miscellaneous type of nylon type cord. This could be in a bin too. Well, yeah, you could do this too and maybe it keeps it quite compact because it doesn't take up much room and you could squish it together. But it's also not as organized. And you m may still tangle it and when you're trying to pull something from the bottom, well, you gotta pull everything from the top first. Which means just to get something at the bottom, you gotta deal with everything on the top. Now, there's two ways of doing it. I'm not sure the way that's more I'm doing it with a vertical way of doing it, but you can do it horizontally too, just by adding in some a line over top and just suspending it over whatever. But I have it uh, vertically, so that's what I'm going to be showing. Now, you're going to need some sort of tubing, like PVC tubing, probably as wide as this. It doesn't have to be that wide. And the length, well, it'll vary depending how much you want to store onto it. The, more, the longer it is, the more you can store onto it. So, you'll have something like this, carabiner, some paracord, arbor knot, or some, some sort of Canadian jam, slip knot at the end. And there's something on the air end too. Basically, what you want to do is make Prusik knot. Have Prusik knots. So like this, or like this, and tie a main line again to, to the Prusik knot using the arbor chain or a slip knot, and tie your short lines towards that using, again, slip knot, Canadian jam knot, or the arbor knot. And just sort it from type of cordage to length or whatever, depending on how you want to organize it. So something similar to this. So right now, on this, and you can see I have a stopper, something to stop it. So 
so I can the line doesn't run through. So basically right here I got reflective type of cordage. On this next proof technology right here, I have bungee cable or shock cable, stretchy type of uh, cordage right here. Right here on this piece of denim right here that I have tied around here <clears throat> using the Arbor Canadian Jam Knot, Slip Knot, just miscellaneous type of sh very short line. Right here on this proof technology right here, I have more miscellaneous line, some excess paracord, some nylon cordage, just cordage that's still useful, but I don't want to keep it in a bin and then get it all tangled up. Okay. Next one right here, I got porn braided bags and a bunch of it. And this last one right here, I got thicker type of cordage right here. So, Prusik knot, main line, and then, then you connect up your cordage to that main line with Arbor Canadian Jam Knots. And the beauty about this is, it's well organized. Prusik knots will hold if there's tension. When there's no tension, it'll slide very easily. So I can slide this wherever I want, all the way to the end. I can group it together, like so. And, let's see. Hey, I'm moving stuff around. Oh, hey, look. You'd probably be like, oh, this is getting tangled up, CR. It's, you're never going to be able to find what you want. And sometimes when I had it in a bin or in a baggie, this is how it was. And it becomes very unorganized. And if I want to access one specific color, diameter, or type of cordage or whatever, I was just like, yeah. But now, look at this. All I got to do is just pull those Prusik knots to the side, run it, run my hand through it like hair, like this. Pull that Prusik knot to the side, run it through like hair, and bang. It's not tangled anymore. And if I want to grab something, let's say I want to grab from this line right here, all I gotta do is find my main line, which I have a reflector at the end, so I know which is part of the main line. Everything's connected to that. And if I want to find, let's say I want to grab this or this blue cordage right here, all I gotta do, very simply, loosen up, open up that arbor, canine jam, not slip knot, wide enough, and pull it off like a sock. And bang, I got this access to this cordage so I can use it for whatever. And let's say, hey, I got some excess cordage. Hey, I want to put this back on. I still want to use it for maybe something else, for example. All I'm going to do is find the end of the line again, which I have marked. Put this, slip it over top, and tighten up that Arbor or Canadian jam knot. So it becomes nice and organized. You can hang it at the ends like so, or you can make it more vertically using uh, some sort of carabiner or... Uh, hook or something like that like I have right here all I gotta do is pull at the end of the line and I can tighten up that line a bit and hang this up on like a back of a door or something like that or hang it somewhere it becomes very organized and you can always still keep adding to it you probably could put a lot on this I mean this is a lot of miscellaneous cordage right here that's well organized now so as the world changes so much oneself to reach a new level of skill and knowledge one must practice. A single person can't help everyone in this world, but one person can help someone in this world. And until the next creation video for me, it's peace out from the guy that's in creation mode up to 98.6% of the time. It's peace out from the guy also known as TLC, but more commonly known as CR. And I'll catch you next time. Peace out.